Alright, welcome back to another exciting edition of Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. And we're playing as the Crusader on the PlayStation 4. I'm Go Burns, by the way. How's it going? In case you are new to my channel, I'll be posting Diablo 3 content daily, along with Grand Theft Auto Online content. So I'm not going to stop doing that for all of you Grand Theft Auto Online fans. Still going to do Racing Badly three days a week, as well as other exciting you know, Diablo 3. I mean, what is it? Uh, yeah. That, what's that other game again? That one I used to play? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm still going to play GTA Online, I promise. And of course, anytime there's like Grand Theft Auto news or information or leak stuff and... Uh, Obviously, whenever we get some new DLC in a few weeks, probably around the one-year anniversary of the release of Grand Theft Auto V on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, we'll probably get new DLC about that time. So a few weeks from now, maybe sooner. You never know if Rockstar. That'd be awesome. But anyways, I am enjoying playing Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition, like I've mentioned before in the first episode. And if you haven't watched the first episode yet, as we walk back into New Tristram to uh, sell some goods... I would highly recommend you go watch the first episode before watching this one. I am an avid Diablo fan. I've been playing since the very first Diablo game that came out many, many years ago, back in the 90s. Yes, I am that old. Okay, so... Do we have anything to say to him? Okay, we don't. Okay. Never mind. Oh, that's right. There's always, a, like, an icon if you have to talk to him. Okay, cool. Sweet. Where's the merchant at? No, that's the militia... Found Where's the some merchant? Interesting things on my ah, there you are. Dig. You should take a look. No, I just want to sell shit. Sell. Okay, cool. Let's see. Alright, so I don't really need the... Well, that's better than uh, the, the uh, flail, so... I think I'll keep the flail. Yeah, the dagger. Let's see what else we got. What else is there? Nothing. That's all there is. That sucks. I thought I picked up more crap. Oh, I did. Oh, I see how it works. You select it, then you go down, and uh, let's see. Nah. We'll sell that. All right. All right. Sell that. Make a few dollars. Some pesos. And what do you think? You think I should uh, switch it to the axe? Yeah, I think I'll switch it to the axe because, I mean, look at the, the flail. It It's weaker, and, yeah, screw the flail. I want an axe. This gal is going to have an axe of a good time. <laughs> I know, that was cheesy, wasn't it? Okay, inventory. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this, uh, use the uh, navigation. Okay, so, oh, is that, that's a new shield. Okay, sweet. All right, so I also got a new shield. Okay, so this one over here on the right side, that's equipped. And this one on the left side, that's a new one. All right, awesome. Oh, we got some footwear too. Some shoes. Awesome. Are they some Nikes, some Adidas action? And uh, no, guess not. Okay, so a few more items I want to sell. All right. I don't want to buy anything from you, you cheapskate. All right, so let's see, I'll sell that. Yeah, and I'm sorry. I mean, I know I'm, I'm wasting time here selling items when I should be hacking and slashing. I promise we'll get to that in just a second. I'm just uh, trying to uh, do what I got to do here. Okay, hold on. I'm still trying to figure all this out. So hopefully by the third episode, I'll be kicking ass and taking names and we won't be doing this sort of thing. And you know what? I ought to, like, for future episodes, I think I'm not going to worry about putting on... Uh, wasting your time with the inventory shit, so I'll just probably do that off screen. Unless you like me doing this sort of thing, just let me know below in the comments section. <laughs> all right, so let's. Uh, all right, we're gonna sell that for a few dollars. How much are we gonna get? Eh, we didn't get that much, did we? Oh well. Okay, so we got all our stuff sold, I think. All right, because I'm trying to keep the inventory as light as possible. All right, so okay, we're good to go. All right, so where do we go now? Um, okay. Back into the, it's a uh, shame that bar got himself eaten. Back in here? Some music right now. Okay, so we don't go in here. Where are we supposed to go? 
I thought I killed the wretched queen in the last episode. Eh, maybe I missed one. It happens. Anyways, leaving New Tristram now, heading back out into the woods. And now, before you ask, I'm not a scaredy cat. I'm not afraid of the uh, demons and creatures that await me out here. I'm just exploring. It's a new game. It's not technically new because I played it a couple years ago when it came out on PC. And uh, it just feels like I'm revisit revisiting an old place that I've been to once in my life. And what's sad is the first time I, re I played um, Diablo 3 and I beat it, it just didn't have the same replayability that Diablo 2 uh, had. And yes, I am an old school Diablo person. So, I may make some references to uh, previous Diablo games and some of you may be like, what the hell is he talking about? But anyways, I would highly recommend you go back and play uh, Diablo 2 if you ever get really, really bored. I wouldn't play Diablo 1 because uh, I didn't like it as much after Diablo 2 came out because, for one thing, your character can't run. I think they actually made a mod or something. Let's go down the well, shall we? Let's, see, let's get some action, some money. Hell yeah, I like money. Down the well to fight some fools. <laughs> yeah, die! Assholes. So I got some skills. That's cool. Awesome. Look at this shit. I am kicking all kinds of ass. Tearing up these zombies. Cave zombies. Hide in a cave because they're afraid of a little crusade action. Let's see, okay, so I got all the stuff out of the chest. And let's look at the uh, inventory skills. Alright, so. Alright, so here's a new skill for us. Oh, that's a rune, okay. We got any other skills and stuff? Nope. Nothing yet, okay. So, we'll, as, as you uh, level up, you uh, open more options for your character. And so that's what's going to end up happening once I get a higher level here. I think I explored everything in the cave, didn't I? Because sometimes there's little things hidden here and there. That's what they like to do with these hack and slash dungeon crawlers. Is they really do encourage you to explore every crevice, every hole. <laughs> Okay, see? See how it paid off? Another chest. See, some of you were thinking, no, 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 just go back up, you know? No, see? This is why you explore. This is why you try and go throughout the entire map. Every now and then you may find nothing, and sometimes you may find, like, a super boss waiting to kick your ass, but sometimes you'll find a nice payday, see? Even right there, there's a few bucks. All right, so let's go back up, shall we? Awesome. All right, so back on old Tristan Road. Tristan, <laughs> not Tristan. <laughs> All right, so where else do we go here? I know it's only been, what, two years since I last played this game? Well, except for the demo on the uh, 360. I played that, but it just feels new to me. It's all but new again. It's like that game that you used to play all the time, but then you stopped playing it, but then one day you decide to start playing it again. And even though you're familiar with it, there's still kind of a newness to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let me know below, what is one of your favorite games that you enjoy playing over and over again? But, I mean, obviously you don't play it religiously, but you may take a break from it for a few days or a few weeks or a few months, but eventually, you uh, find yourself one day bored with the game you're currently playing and you decide to, I don't know, for nostalgia's sake, pop in that old game. See, that's how Diablo 2 was with me back in the day. I would play it for a while, beat it once or twice, then take a break, and a couple years later, I would Rule play it Tristan. again as we Diablo enter the old ruins. That's right. That's what it says on the uh, town uh, entry sign. You know, Diablo was here. 
So yeah, Diablo really, really tore the shit out of this tank. He screwed it up. Not yet. Ah, damn it, I went down the cell by accident. Oops. <laughs> oh, well, we'll go ahead and see what's down here, then we'll go back up and finish out the rest of those zombies. Hey, there's stuff down here. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, we are tearing the shit out of these fools. <laughs> I require yeah. more wrath. Yeah. I guess it's not that time of the month. But I get a bow. Sweet. I can sell that for profit. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for now on is just to save time. I'm not going to uh, show the uh, inventory stuff. Unless I come across like a really cool legendary item to show you. Say, like, ooh, look what I got. So, whenever I go back to town, whenever, whenever I sh uh, sell my shit, I won't show that to you, I promise. Because, honestly, it's a waste of time for you. And you're sitting here wanting some hot action. You know, some you know, hack and slash. You know, some zombies sliced and diced. And I'm just sitting around going, hey, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, I want to sell that. Oh, I'm going to go and sell that now. So I'm not going to do that anymore. But, anyways, I really do wish that they had a Necromancer in this game. Because that was my favorite character in Diablo 2. I think that's my favorite character overall. There's the other wretched mother. Time to die, bitch! Yeah! Oh, sweet, a sword. Awesome. Nice. All right, so weapons rack. It's always good to get more weapons because you can sell it. Another zombie. All right, so I think I just about cleared out the town. Even though the damage had already been done long ago when Diablo first came here back in the 90s. <laughs> in the original old PC game. Ah, memories. Man, this place sucks. All right, so villagers journal. Let's have a listen. The king's gone mad. Executing anyone his paranoid eye falls on. None of us are safe. None of us are safe. I'm not safe, and you're not safe. No one. All right. Is there anything else? I think there's one more spot over here. Okay. Do we go down there already? Or do we go down something else? I thought we went down the dark cellar. Well, let's go down there again. I think I was already down here. Yeah, I was already down here. Did I miss anything? As I mentioned, you know, in these type games, it pays to explore, to check out every corner of the map, every crevice, every nook. Because you never know when you may run into some money or a sweet item, or you may get slaughtered by an uber boss that you just can't kill. <laughs> that has been known to happen. So another zombie! I, got I think I got that zombie. It was hiding. Poor zombie didn't want to get a crusade on him. Alright, I think I saw another zombie. Ah, there you are, you bastard. Money! Nice. Alright, so this is old Tristan. What's left of it? Tristan, Tristan, whatever. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Diablo 3 Ultimate Edition. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing this on a daily basis, so be sure and come back tomorrow if you feel so inclined to check out episode 3. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And, of course, subscribe to the channel because I do post daily content. Not just Diablo 3, but, but Grand Theft Auto Online as well. And, as always, thanks for watching.